The following Cruise Addicts talk show is a production of Cruise Radio. Uh, as a senior cruise director, what does the launch of a new ship mean to you? It's, it's, a, huge, it's a huge privilege. This is uh, new ship number 12 for me. Uh, and each time it means that you're, you're part of the legacy of the ship. You're the person that set the goals, the standards, and, and sets the tone. So for me, it's a big deal. Um, we have a lot of new management at Carnival, and their expectations have uh, changed some of the ways that I've been thinking over the years, and that's a, a really, really good thing. Uh, we're all thinking out of uh, the box, and um, for this particular delivery, it's meant a lot of new challenges, which uh, I've truly enjoyed. Um, in 25 years, how many... Um in all your cruises, or how many um, christenings have you been through? This, as as uh, senior cruise director, this is my fifth. As cruise director, it's my twelfth. I've also do, done one as an assistant cruise director, so it's actually thirteen. But I hate saying that number. I've got a knock on. So, can I borrow your partner's head? Yeah, please. Thank you. Thank you. Got it. All right. We'll, we'll add sound effects later. <laughs> <laughs> what? Do, uh, how does the entertainment differ from the Mediterranean as opposed to the Caribbean? Is or if there is any? Yeah, uh, there. Um, the acts uh, that we fly in we have what we call fly-in entertainers and they will fly in they will do their shows and a couple of days later they will leave and someone else will come um, we have two groups of entertainment on here the entertainers you're seeing in the main stage uh, we saw uh, Karen Granger and Marcus Anthony so far uh, we flew them in um, through an agent that we're using in the UK um, so they only have a shorter distance to fly there they're within uh, the uh, the European area but the comedians you're seeing in our punchline a comedy club um, they're uh, coming from the US. They're part of our US pool. The one major difference is we do look at the uh, the demographics of the guests, and we do try and uh, and include as much visual uh, entertainment and as much musical entertainment as we can. That's going to span uh, span the different demographics. I guess the biggest problem, obviously, is the uh, getting lost in translation with the comedians and the comic shows. Yeah, that's right. The punchline uh, is really um, based for North American crowd. Right. Although in a couple of weeks we have over one. 1,000 fellow Brits sailing, so I've got uh, three British comedians coming on as well for that cruise. Very good. As a new ship, uh, folks may not know a lot about the Magic yet or what it has to offer, what's new and all that. Uh, what can passengers who haven't sailed on this ship yet, what can they expect? I, I think before we talk about the actual uh, the specifics, I think just the, the feel of the ship. Um, we've before we've had just the one architect, and he's had uh, uh, free uh, range to do you know whatever he wants. And um, some of the architecture on here is still his, and it's it's absolutely fabulous. But we've also got a second architect company that we're using uh, out of Germany, and uh, they've done some subtle changes. So uh, you go from the the bright flash Vegas of the casino to the uh, the more more um, comfortable colors of the Red Frog pub. So as an, from an architecture point of view, it's definitely a different feel for the ship. The new areas, the Red Frog pub, uh, you know, as I've walked around, that's stealing the show. It, and, and, it, and it surprises me. I, didn't, I knew it'd be popular, but nowhere near as popular as it is. Every guest I speak to has said how fun it is. They love the music. They love the food. They love the ambience. Um, so the Red Frog pub is definitely uh, the number one. And just behind it, Cucina. Uh, I don't know if you guys have had a chance to eat up there just yet, Not but yet. the uh, yeah, coming up for you soon. Good. You'll enjoy the Italian style uh, family fun and fast service that we have there. And of course, the outdoor spaces, uh, you've got the sports square with the rope swing course and you've got the, an outdoor something called, let me look at my notes, something called a gym. I really <laughs> no clue what that is, but I'll have to. Do you any idea? I've heard of the legend of the gymnasium, yeah. but no, not too familiar. No, me neither. Not heard of that one. But there's a gym there, football tables, and of course the rope swing course. Yesterday we had a day at sea. Over 300 people did the rope swing course, and that's of all ages. And we are actually keeping a a mark on the on, on the oldest. The oldest so far, 74 years old. Mm. You know, obviously, you, you never seem to be at a loss for words. You're, uh, um, you make your job look effortless. What are the challenges of uh, being a senior cruise director? Uh, the challenges are um, outside of working with Jennifer De La Cruz from the Public Relations Department, which is a, <laughs> is a massive challenge and has given me gray hair over the years. I think, uh, no, seriously, the, the challenge is, is making everything look like you're doing it for the first time. Yeah. And 
you know when you do a show even though you the jokes are different and the situations are different you have to make it feel and, and i think right. the day i walk out there and i'm just two seconds before i walk out the curtain i say to myself oh god i've got to do this again that'll be the note that i have to stop um the challenge uh, on this particular ship uh, any inaugural cruise is a challenge you plan you think you've done everything but not until you put 3,800 people on a ship and the flow of the guests and, and people doing everything at the same time. Do you know if things are working or not? Yeah, we have a couple of uh, listener questions here. The first one is, uh, could you share one of your favorite stories of something funny that's happened on board? Uh, we talk about on board this ship so far or any, any, any ship? Yeah. Um, I think, um, that, well, that, that's a question I get asked a lot. Uh, and there's a, there's a whole list list to choose from. I think for your listeners, uh, I'll give you a recent one. Um, uh, I, I was on the Carnival Splendor uh, back in uh, last year. And in August, we had um, a group of uh, people who were, um, <clears throat> how do I put this? Uh, they were extremely religious. And, and, and I certainly have no problem with religion. I'm a believer myself. Uh, and, and it was a, an interesting group because <laughs> we had them and we also had a, um, a Harley Davidson group oh on at the same time. And unfortunately, we made a little bit of a planning mistake. We had what's called a shared cocktail party. Whereas if you have a, a smaller group of, uh, I think it's 30 or under, Carnival pays for a little cocktail party we put all the groups sure. together so we had the uh 30 religious people i won't mention the religion um but uh i've never yes you're going to ask me that aren't you i i how do i subtly answer um if you a collector's item would actually be one of these people inside a house okay are, are, are you getting it <laughs> no, you're not getting it, are you? Anyway, people, you know, they knock on a door. Oh, and right. People inside. Anyway, oh, so we put them, we put them in the same room as that. Now these Harley Davidson people were fat, fun as well, but they were tattoo. They were leather, and but at the end of it, it was like it was. I was so worried and so scared, and I went in there and I thought, oh no. And by the end of it, they were all talking to each other, and it was absolutely fabulous. Drinking and making plans with each other. They were making plans. I don't know about drinking. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the last one here from a listener. What's the most ridiculous question a passenger has ever asked you? Um, I will give you my top three. Gentlemen, in the photo gallery, uh, I was walking through the photo gallery many years ago on the Triumph. I could tell he was angry. I said he was huffing and puffing. Uh, standing at the photo gallery, all the photos are out on display. I said, what's wrong? He looked me right in the eye and said, how will I know which photos are mine? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I said, well, there's a guy who just looks like, just like you. You can buy his. Uh, my second He's not your doppelganger. Yes, he's not you. Doppelganger. It's you. My second favorite, um, and people think we make this up, and you really can't make stuff like this up. Walking across the Lido deck. Uh, I was actually with, uh, the captain, with Captain Angelo Loss, a very good friend of mine. A lady waves the, 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 we're, the, we're in the, on the Lido deck. The ship's in motion. The ship's moving. It's very important to remember that. Ship's moving. Sitting on the Lido deck, this lady waves the captain and I over. She says to the captain, is that ocean water in the pool? Good question. Captain says, yes. We well, said, yes, sir. Yes. Sir. I'm moving my hands for yeah, effect. Yeah, you can't yeah. see that. He said, yes, yes, it is ocean water in the pool. And we walked away. She looked right at her friend and said, well, Betty, that must be why it's so rough in the pool then. Oh, jeez, Louise. <laughs> Your partner's not getting there. You're going to explain it later, uh, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah no. Explain that one. Because he it. thought we put the waves. I got it. Got it. Because they're okay. actually inside See, the house. They were knocking, and a rare yeah. photo is one inside the house. Right. Okay. <laughs> you know, listen, listen he had one more. Oh, I've got my. Oh, yeah. oh yes, and my favorite, yeah. my all-time favorite. It's um, it, it goes way, way, way back. What do you do with the ice carvings after they've melted? Oh, what do y'all do with those? <laughs> we put it in a bottle and we sell it to you for three ninety five. <laughs> oh, Jennifer, I could just feel Jennifer looking at me right now. Don't mention the price of the water. Um, our last question, and perhaps the most important, John, um, boxers or briefs? I'm looking at you in those tight jeans and I am guessing Ooh, uh, that you... Uh, oh, me, sorry. Um, before marriage, it was G-strings. Um, hot. The hot, and they turn into G-ropes. Uh, now, they're, I'm afraid they're briefs. Yeah, but right. there's, well, brief as anybody can 
be around there. He is the senior cruise director aboard the brand spanking new Carnival Magic, Mr. John Heal. Thank you so much for being with us on cheers, Cruise guys. Radio. Good luck to you both. Thank you. Yeah, cheers, mate. Right on then.